Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. I'm Ann here from Ann Makes. I have a website at www.annmakes.ca, so please uh, check that out. And if you are new here and you would like to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos where I do hauls, product reviews, product demos, um, and I talk about crafting and DIYs and I show how to's and all that jazz, then click on that subscribe button below the description there and uh, or click on the end makes in the corner of the screen. Don't forget to click on the bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Today, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Dollar Tree haul that I did just yesterday. And yeah, so I hope uh, you're interested in seeing what I hauled. So I uh, hauled some more of the Lotus Biscoff cookies because my husband loves these. So I got him more of that. And I was really blown away when I saw this food product. It is Egg Nest Pasta, La Molisana. Molisana, I hope I'm probably butchering that. Tagliatelle a la Duvo, or oh, whatever. So it's basically Tagliatelle Pasta. It's those nests of egg pasta, egg noodle pasta. So can you believe this was a Dollar Tree? I was like, what? So I was like, yes, jump into my cart, pretties. So yeah, I got a bunch of these. So Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree finally had more of the 3M two pack small mailers. I got some of this for mailing out some stuff. And by the way, I have to tell you that I am shocked how much it costs to uh, mail packages or envelopes, even something this small in our country, in Canada. Shocking. Um, I don't understand. I think it's highway robbery, personally. I really do. So, uh, yeah. And I did finally pick up a big package of 45 of these uh, gold pipe cleaners, gold chenille pipe cleaners, because it's the gold ones that I was running low on last week. I hauled a multicolored pack and I, yeah, so I want, I really wanted to restock the gold and the silver, but unfortunately the, my Dollar Tree did not have any of the just silver left, but I got gold. That's okay. I mean, I say I, I was running low. It's not like I use them that often. I saw this giant gift bag. So I picked this up to put a bunch of gifts in to keep them, you know, just non-visible for a while until I actually wrap them. <laughs> so I got this. And these measure 36 by 44 inches or 91 centimeters by 111 centimeters. I got some new, they had some new pretty tissue papers in the party gift wrapping aisle so and they had several and so I got this one so these come in packages where you get I think you get four of each yes you get four of the printed and four of the solid and I like this one to add to my collage stash I'll keep the solid papers for gifts probably and I'll just put the designs in my stash for my uh, paper crafting collage and I also got this one so and they had they had several others uh, but I, I limited myself I was trying to be good and I picked up this Christmas themed one for our gifts and this looks a lot like the bag same theme as the bag with the gift tags on it and the same here I think you get four printed for this print one four of the red and some more tissue paper for some gifts I got this package of the red with the, um, the glitter um, and the holographic 
and it measures 20 inches by 20 inches. Yep, and there's 10 sheets in here. So, so here you get eight sheets, and here you get 20. So, depends on what you're going to do with it. You know, I guess that's why you would buy one or the other. So I saw they had some a lot of makeup, a lot of new makeup items, and I got some stuff. But as you know, I don't wear most of the makeup I buy. <laughs> I really don't. And what I did purchase a new, but not for makeup. It's more for art purposes. As uh, this Wet n Wild a uh, crease brush, I got this. Um, yeah, this I want to use for working with glitter and stuff. And Wet and Wild angled liner. Again, I'm thinking of using this um, for crafting. And I picked up some nail polishes, some really funky nail polishes, uh, Wet n Wild. This one is, I'm going to call it Silver Chunky Glitter. And uh, yeah, Big Chunky Glitter, that's what it says. I'm with the band. Oh, that's the color? Oh yeah, this one is actually called C490C, I'm with the band. So it's Big Chunky Glitter. And then there's also this one that's called At Will Call, <laughs> Big Chunky Glitter. So it's about going out at night or going to a show, concert. So I, got, I just got these because they were really glittery and I just thought they might be fun for making embellishments. And I also got a bottle of the Clear Protective Base Coat. Protective Base Coat. Oh, I wanted the top coat. Protective base, yeah, protective base coat, same thing. So, uh, just for, yeah, base coating and top coating. And there was one bottle of this gold Tivoli. So I've got that. And, and they had a whole bunch of new LA Colors loose eyeshadow at the, this Dollar Tree show. I picked up one of each that they had so I could, this one is Snow White. I got the Snow White, Sunshine, Honeysuckle, um, Lollipop, and this one is Grape Jelly, and last one I got is Radiant. So this is the Radiant here. Great jelly. So uh, I got these because I like to use these as powders for paper crafting or mixed media making. I will mix these with pastes and gel mediums to alter the color, to add shine. I will also use these mixed with a little bit of water and alcohol to make sprays. Um, I use this uh, with embossing ink to when stamping on cards or any kind of paper. Uh, yeah, I just, I use makeup as an art supply. That's why I buy makeup. So, and the dollar store, it's so cheap. It's, it's, it's so, so worth it. The other things I picked up are this bowl. Just to have an extra serving bowl for the holidays for whatever we're serving and I got a red one like this and a clear one like this so just extra bowls to have for serving foods and snacks for uh, get-togethers and such I needed some more shampoo so I picked up a bottle of Salon Selectas a volume and body conditioner that's color safe so got that and I picked up a few more of the wooden embellishments I got the bird hanger so there's three pieces in this one I got some more of the uh, laser cut wood shape, uh, little like 
doily hearts. There's four, four in each pack. The flowers, and actually I got two of the heart ones. I also got this cute little pouch. It's like a little coin purse pouch thing. Uh, so this definitely is a stocking stuffer alert. <laughs> I had just a little pouch and they had them on all sorts. Oh, there's something inside. Oh, no. Oh, look. Oh, this is cool. Okay, it was stuffed with this. Now, I'm keeping this because this is really cool for mixed media making and stamping. Ooh. It's a bonus. <laughs> Actually, it's just stuffing for the little pouch. So, um, yeah, and this is a little pouch. Just a little, little, you could put coins in here, you know, lipstick, just a little, little pouch. And then I saw these, and good thing they were with the makeup, because I would first, I, I would have been like you, saying, what is that? Um, and I will show you what that is. What it is, is a little, little, like, bag, a little makeup, toiletry, bag and it goes get it there we go like this it goes like this and you can ta-da and you can fill it you know with makeup or you know make it fill it with your your makeups or whatever that you have toiletries and they have them in different colors they have this pink uh, they had like a royal blue, they had orange, and uh, so I got a couple of these. Always practical to have extra little bags and pouches uh, to put stuff, to travel with, and this again, this is what they look like uh, in the store. So in case you see this and you're like, what the heck is that? Now you know this is what it is. This is what it looks like. So it's just a cute little pouch, you know, and this is a nice thing to, this is another stocking stuffer idea, I think. Uh, it's very cute. And I would even say that the blue ones, maybe I would give to, I almost got the blue ones to give to my boys, uh, but I, I think they would have preferred black, but they didn't have black. So yeah, I just thought, well, just nifty little pouches to have. Picked up a uh, extra silver tray. Again, uh, we always we always seem to run out of platters and trays and bottles at Christmas when we have finger foods and hors d'oeuvres and all that stuff. So I just thought I would pick up some more. And then if I get a crafting idea down the road, I'll just go get these out of our stash in the basement and turn it into a craft and then i'll have to buy some more for another party <laughs> so in the where they have the children's stuff where they have the building blocks they call them block tech they had two bags one with doors and windows which i'd never seen before but they only had one bag so i got the one with the doors and the windows and one with uh plants like little trees and plants I picked up a lot of storage bags for, uh, these ones are the heavy duty. I got a couple of the XXL bags and a few boxes that come, you get two of the XL bags. And what I was thinking of using these for was to store my Christmas wreaths after the holidays. I was thinking I could use the bag, put them in the bag, and then hang them with a hanger. Uh, from I have the the storage spaces that we have in our basement uh, do not have a finished ceiling, so the the floor beams are exposed. So I'm just thinking I would install a pole or maybe just some nails, and I could hang my Christmas wreaths from the ceiling until next year. But I would protect them with some sturdy plastic so they you know wouldn't get all dusty like they've been getting uh this is new my dollar tree and i saw this in the aisle where they had the uh socks and yeah where they had the socks basically uh, it was a sports towel so they had them in this black 
and this uh, this kind of blue the same type of blue that's here color and yeah so they're sport towels uh, they're just like towels that's all they are but they're 20 they measure 20 by 30 inches so um, you know I have I have guys who like to go work out so I just thought maybe they'd like to have these I don't know uh, speaking of my whoops speaking of men I was quite excited when I found these socks and they were kind of hidden under the women's socks for some reason and they were not with the socks they were up front of the store with all the their stocking stuffer ideas that they have so so I don't know if these are at every Dollar Tree and my store did not have a big box of these I warn you but I got uh, one of each well I didn't get one of each because some of the themes didn't speak to me so I got these dress socks for men and they're all themed they're really cute I think and uh, these ones have like a camping theme and I like the sign says don't feed the bears <laughs> so I'm gonna give this to one of my guys and this one is a nice navy blue with music notes uh, this one is uh, like a teal color with tools, the green with the footballs, and oh, the, the wolf, the gray socks with the wolf, and this, I love this one, the gray socks with the hot dogs. <laughs> now, although they're men's socks, you can wear them. Women can wear them too. There's nothing that says we can't wear them, but uh, I just thought these would be a hoot to put in my guy's uh, stockings or to give a, a small gift at Christmas. Some of these foam stars, you get eight pieces in here. These are by Craft Medley. I've walked by these so, so many times, but I decided to pick some up so I could have these in my stash for any type of project I would have to make down the road. I bought this big bottle of Baby's Choice baby powder and that weight is 14 ounces. So you have 14 ounces of this baby powder. I did not check the ingredients or anything, but I'm not going to be using this on a baby, so don't don't tell don't call, don't say in the comments that you know this is not good to breathe blah blah blah. That's not the intention. The intention is to make art supplies out of this. So I got baby powder and white glue. Cheap, cheap, cheap. The cheap white glue that they have at Dollar Tree. Uh, I want to do some more experiment. Oh, this smells so nice, by the way. Hmm, smells very pretty. Uh, I'm going to be, ex I want to experiment again with making some art supplies, uh, gesso, paste, things like that. And uh, let me know if you want if you're interested in seeing that I want to get back I really want to get back into my mixed media art making and I do work with a lot of expensive supplies but I would also like to show you how to work with less expensive supplies so uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about that and for some more organization in my room here I got a couple more of these baskets I've already have like six of them set up here on one of my pegboard walls I just got two more I do find them extremely practical and then in the kitchen I've always walked by these and never really stopped to look at them uh, they have these cute little mason jars you get two in here so you get these cute little mason jars and I thought these would be great for storing some of my homemade uh, mixed media mixtures so they're glass they have a nice lid that seals um, yeah so I just thought these would be nice they're like remind me of baby jars baby food jars a bit so I got a few of those because I thought they were a good price I picked up this little chef with the raggedy legs here uh, just I want to give this to my husband to put in his stocking 
um, just because I call him my weekend chef because he really likes to cook on the weekend. So I just thought I'd give this to him to have. And since I'm a, I was on a kick just to buy supplies to add to my stash for my mixed media making, I got some of these little dominoes. I got some more of these little dominoes. I got this one and this one just to have as small embellishments for my crafting. And these are really tiny. These are great. I know some people make jewelry out of these. And come, this one comes in a little case with the tiny dominoes. And this one um, has little colorful dominoes, a little bigger. So I got that all for my mixed media making. And the other thing I bought, now please do not write me about this one, is I got a little Bible, uh, and I will be, sit down please, for those of you who are gonna be in utter heart attack, failure, shock, stroke, whatever mode, I am going to be using this for the paper. There, I've said it. So it's got thin paper, it's great for mixed media making, and that's all I wanted this for, is for that. This is not my family Bible. This is not the, the Bible that's been in my family. This is not uh, a, a Bible, a good Bible. I call I don't call this like, there's no such thing as a bad Bible. But this, this is, I just bought this for the paper, people, please. So, uh, yeah, so don't, don't get upset on me. <laughs> Um, and there's nothing wrong with that okay there are I, I have friends who are, are are very good Catholics and they're also artists and they do art um, Bible art journaling and that they do beautiful work and they do it in a, a bot Bible. I don't do it in their family Bible. I don't do it in their personal Bible. I just use it to make beautiful art. So, please. <laughs> it's not defacing anything. Um, the other thing I picked up was this confetti. And it's so funny because I know we can buy gold stars and red stars in the Christmas decorating sometimes and I got some at Dollarama but look how much more we get in the party supplies and all this so I just got these to have as confetti for art making craft making shaker pockets you name it actual party making Woo! Uh, so I got the red stars gold black that's not something you see often silver and blue and this is not a craft supply but it does fuel me twizzlers this is not a craft supply either although i wonder if i could think of a way to use this hmm. uh these are just uh, these were new at my store and I picked some up because I thought they'd be useful to have. They're Premier Super Moleskin Soft Padding. Uh, protects soft, tender areas on your feet. And uh, personally, I when I have to go to a show and I do a lot of standing and walking, and my husband's the same way sometimes for our work. We have to do a lot of standing and walking in trade shows and just smiling at a lot of people. And, you know, our feet hurt. <laughs> So I just thought this would be something practical for both of us to stick into our bags when we travel to these shows. I saw these cute, the cutest little, these are frames actually. They sell these with the photo frames and that's what it says, they're photo frames. But they're wood, they have a beautiful shape. They have a little stand at the back and they have like a little clip here to clip your photo. I just thought these were really pretty, really cute. And since they're, well, they're not real. Are they wood? No, they're not real wood. They're MDF. But I just thought if if we want, we can take off the clip, we can take off the backing and just use it as a little plaque. 
Um, you can use it as is, of course. Who would have thought of that? But uh, yeah, so I just thought these were really cute. I got a little package of the, this This is in the bridal, bridal baby shower stuff. These little tin buckets. I've hauled these, it, years ago I've hauled several of these and I've had, I've found different uses for them in my craft room. I have one that catches um, pencil shavings. I have it in a, in a drawer and when I shave a pencil, that's what it's for. I have another one that holds um, like little nails and things. I find all sorts of uses for these cute little buckets and I've even used these to decorate them for Easter. Uh, there's so many uses for these little buckets and I keep seeing them and I think oh yeah those are really cute and I just thought I should pick some more up in case I come up with another use for them. I will have some because the ones I have now are all being used. <clears throat> I picked up a bag of sand and the white sand again. I know this is sold in the floral arrangement section and a lot of my friends use this in flary gardens or in Christmas villages and year of snow and uh, this so that this can be used to oh boy to put in a vase to or a glass bowl for a candle it can be there's so many uses for this stuff, but it can also be used in, in art making supplies. So that's what I got some of this for. And I picked up another package of the little key tags in red and green because in a previous video, I talked about how I never paid attention to these until now because they make me think of Christmas. So I just got some more for that. And I picked up three of these little jute kind of natural burlap trim. I think they got, no, they all, yeah, I got three different sizes, the skinniest one, the medium, and the larger one. And I just, I picked these up for some, add some texture to some future mixed media type of project. And I picked up this package, this 27 pack of felt pads. They come in different sizes. And there's one big piece here at the back that you can cut to any size you need. And I was in need of some felt the other day to protect a table surface from something so this uh i this might this piece here might work but it might these you know they're strips they might work they might not work but then i'll have the bigger piece and i did try these with uh, my inks now the sticker part on these felt things is super strong so uh <laughs> I, I stuck one of these to my, let me, let me get it. So what I've tested is these felt pads. These I bought at Dollar Tree. They don't, they're not the tool bench ones. They're another, a different packaging, but they're the same principle. And they have a sticky backing and it is a really sticky. And so what I tested these on is my little, this is like the little Tim Holtz ink essentials little tool there for working with inks and yeah um, and these are super super sticky see what I mean they're really sticky so and these come with the little velcro on here so what I might su suggest to you is if you decide to use these as replacement felt pads for your your little tool here is that you stick some velcro on the back of this <laughs> or on here on the paper part because it, you might have a hard time like I did because when I stuck it to my velcro here uh, it was really stuck <laughs> but then the other thing I want to tell you is that when you take these out of the package these brand new 
little felt pads. They are really like stiff on the surface. You can, can you hear that? See, that's my nail scratching. So I thought they were really kind of too hard and I wanted something a little softer. I tried using them hard like this. You do get some ink, but I, it didn't really like the effect. So what I found, what I did with this one is I peeled off, I tried to find the very top layer of one of these. And you might want to use a, a needle to get in there or a pin or a blade to help you cut away some of the fibers. And if you peel off, does that make any sense? This top really hard layer, then you get a softer felt. So I think these, and look at these, they fit very well onto our little tool here. So... And they come on a sheet, you get nine, and I think you get 18 in the package, which I think is a really good price. So uh, if you're looking for replacement felts for your little ink daubers, um, and I warn you, they're, they're they stick really well, these things. Uh, yeah, look into trying these out. Just uh, remove the top coat here, the top layer, and you'll have some nice little felt pads. And yeah. So, I also have the longer, the rectangular ones. I also have this one, this other tool, the rectangle one. And what I've done is I've made my own little felts from felt. I just cut pieces of felt from dollar store, get it on there, and yeah, away I go. Uh, so, I've been happy with that. But these are round and... Yeah, cutting circles is not as much fun, but uh, I'm pretty sure the same could be done with the other felt pads. If you, I just couldn't find one the exact same size as my felt pad here, so but I see this big one can be cut to size. So anyway, just just uh, something I would share in case you're interested. And that is it for my Dollar Tree haul and my uh, art supply hacks for today. Uh, let me know in the comment if you'd like to see more or what you'd like to see or less of or whatever. I hope you like this video and you'll give it a thumbs up. So uh, please like, please comment, please share and uh, take care of yourself and stay crafty. Bye!